my Brentech here where tech is made simple. So after installing the 23H2 feature update for Windows 11, you may have noticed a decrease in your storage space and your storage after installing the feature update. And this storage space could be decreased by approximately 20 to 30 gigabytes, give or take. Now this is quite normal. Because as I've mentioned previously, when updating to a new version of Windows, like version 23H2 in this case, the installation process makes a backup of the previous operating system in the windows.old folder. And to get to that folder, we just double click and head into our C drive or the drive your OS is installed on. And here's the windows.old folder, which can be anywhere between 20 and 30 gigabytes, give or take. Now, as mentioned, this is normal, and this is the backup of version 22H2, if you have upgraded to version 23H2. And the good news is, um, if you aren't requiring this disk space that the windows.old folder has taken up, you can actually safely delete the folder. Now, I would only suggest deleting the windows.old folder if you are completely happy with how 23H2 is operating and working on your system. If you have any doubts, just leave this folder alone for a couple of days because if you uninstall this folder, you cannot uninstall and roll back from version 23H2 to version 22H2. So that's an important point. But if you are completely happy, then it is quite possible to delete this and free up a good couple of gigabytes on your system. So to do this, there's one of two ways we can uh, go through this process on Windows 11 using built-in tools in the OS. And the first is the disk cleanup utility, which you can get to by just doing a search for disk cleanup. This is the legacy disk cleanup utility that's built into Windows and the Windows OS. Now, select the drive that your OS is installed on. Click OK. That'll just go through a quick process. And now you'll see cleanup system files. Then you click on cleanup system files. Once again, select your drive your OS is installed on, click OK. And now this could take a couple of seconds up to a couple of minutes while it scans for previous Windows installations and a whole lot of other files that can be safely deleted. And this will not affect how your OS runs. This It's not going to harm your OS. It's not deleting system files. It's deleting a backup, as mentioned, of your previous operating system, version 22H2, which is approximately anywhere between 20 gigabytes and 30 gigabytes and this is going to take a second or two so we're just going to have to uh, just watch that a little bit in real time for the purpose of this video it should be almost complete and that's scanning for previous windows installations as many of you may know and if you are unaware as mentioned this is how you can safely delete there we go the windows.old folder and that's the process complete now what you need to do is you need to just scroll down and here you'll see previous windows installations you check that box, you can see it's 25.5 gigabytes in my case. As I said, anywhere between 20 and 30 gigabytes. You check the box, you click on OK, you follow the prompts, and that will delete the windows.old folder from your system. And another way you can do it, and I'm just going to go directly to our system, storage, and temporary files, is you can use Storage Sense to also get the job done. And here you can see previous Windows installations, 25.5 gigabytes, and it says files from a previous Windows installation, files and folders that may conflict with the installation of Windows have been moved to folders named windows.old. You can access data from previous Windows installations in this folder. So that's a backup of version 22H2. The same applies. You check that box and you click on remove files, follow the prompts, and that will also delete, as mentioned, the windows.old folder from your system. And that should free up a good couple of gigabytes, as in this case, 25.5 gigabytes. But as mentioned, only delete this folder if you are completely happy with how things are running after upgrading to version 23H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.